This video will discuss character tables in symmetry and group theory. So our discussion thus far has d covered symmetry operations, symmetry elements, point groups, various examples of those, and representations of the various operators in those point groups. So now we've come to character tables, which are concise representations of the different irreducible representations of, of each point group. So a character table is going to ha correspond to a specific point group. Every, every point group has a specific character table. Along the columns of the character table, we have individual symmetry operations, like C2V has E, C2, sigma V, and sigma V prime. C2H has E, C2, I, and sigma H. C1 just has E. CS has E and sigma H etc. Then you have the different irreducible representations of that point group. So C2V has irreps called A1, A2, B1, and B2. C2H has AG, BG, AU, BU. CS just has A prime and A double prime. And C1 just has A. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned, all these character tables uh, can be found on the uh, symmetry.jacobs-university.de website, which is a nice, concise website for finding these character tables. That's where I can find all of these values there. You see the value, the same table for CS. I can look up the same value uh, table for C2V. Pretty much any point group character table that I want, I will find the appropriate character table, uh, all the operations, and the names of all the irreps for that point group. Okay, but that doesn't answer the question, what are these irreps and why do they have the names that they have? So we remember from our previous video on irreducible representations, they're just the simplest uh, possible set of representations for each of these symmetry operations that are consistent with the uh, multiplication properties of the group. So we have these A and B irreps. Those are one-dimensional irreps. Um, a is an irrep which is symmetric with respect to the principal axis, Cn. So notice the A labels here have a one, pot, plus 1 for C2, and Bs have a minus 1 for C2. Similarly here, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, A, B, A, B. Um, no principal axes there. Um, if there's a subscript 1 or 2, that generally indicates a 1 is symmetric with respect to either sigma v or c2, if that c2 is not the principal axis cn, or anti-symmetric with respect to that operation. So for sigma v, a1 positive, a2 negative, b1 positive, b2 negative. Um, let's see, we don't have a 1 or 2 there, that's the only one I've got, okay. A subscript G or U is covered elsewhere in this uh, symmetry, uh, quantum chemistry and spectroscopy course. G meaning gerata, symmetric with respect to the inversion center, uh, I. U, ungerata, anti-symmetric with respect to inversion. So AG plus 1, BG plus 1, AU minus 1, BU minus 1. And the superscript prime or double prime, as we see in CS, indicates symmetry with respect to sigma h. So prime is symmetric with respect to sigma h plus 1. Double prime is anti-symmetric with respect to sigma h minus 1. And then if it's only got the single layer up by itself, it can just be a. Um, also of note before we leave here is that every point group has a totally symmetric irreducible representation. Uh, that'd be a, a column which has nothing but ones up here. So A1, AG, A prime, A, A1G, whatever it happens to be, every point group has its first irrep is ones all the way across. Um, every irrep has a has a uh, positive character with respect to the identity. All of these one-dimensional irreps are going to be one. Um, I haven't defined what this term abelian means thus far, but it means that um, it this particular point group only has one-dimensional irreps. Some more complicated things can happen when you have uh, two or three-dimensional irreps, as we'll discuss in the next video 
on non-abelian character tables. But this is the basic introduction to what these irreps are and why they have the labels they have uh, and what those labels mean.